Hey there guys, what's going on? Everybody knows that Modern Warfare has about four or five guns that pretty much every single person in the game is using at the same time. Of course, some weapons are always going to be better than others, and I tend to enjoy playing with weapons that are a little bit off-meta, like making class setups on weapons that you might not have heard before, but... Today we are of course looking at the best of the best. So in today's video we've got the 5 most overpowered class setups in Modern Warfare with the Season 2 update. This list really wasn't that hard to put together, like basically you just look at the kill feed in any lobby that you're playing in and for the most part every single person in the lobby will be using these weapons basically. Like I said, we've got the best of the best here today. But just before we get into our class setups here, let's try and get this video to 6 likes. The support has been pretty unreal recently, we just had about 150 new subscribers since I started up loading the Modern Warfare stuff, but I feel like this number could always be higher. So make sure you do take two seconds and give that subscribe button a little love so you don't miss any more of my videos. Now that is out of the way, let's take a look at the class setups here. Okay, so we're going to go over our secondary perks and grenade choices quickly here because they are the same on all of these classes. So in the sidearm slot, we do have the X16 Glock pistol. This is one of the more underrated pistols in this game. We have it set up like this, of course. It's very interesting. And with the Akimbo perk recently added, this is actually a very, very funny setup to run. Like, it's actually really powerful. It's way more powerful than you probably think it is. And it's one of my favorites at the moment. So we've got the Monolithic Suppressor, the Syngard Arms Advantage Barrel, the 5 milliwatt Laser, the Lightweight Trigger, and of course, the Akimbo perk. Basically, you just take out these things and just start sprinting around and just fire at people from, like, pretty far away. And it does the job. It's actually hilarious. Like... You would think this would be less powerful than it is, but it is actually so great. I might make a class setup video alone on this because it's pretty, pretty good. In the perk 1 slot, I love Kill Chain for that cruise missile into VTOL into advanced UAV combo. Perk 2 is for Ghost for staying off those UAVs, and perk 3 is Battle Hardened, so I don't get my life ruined by flashes and stuns. The lethal grenade is usually the C4, but this is personal preference, so you can choose whatever you like. And the tactical for me, it just has to be the stim shot because it is so powerful. So starting us off with our first class here, we've got the newly added in Season 2, the Grau 556. This is absolutely one of my favorite weapons at the moment because it is so, so strong. The Grau 556 is an assault rifle with great damage, great range, and minimal recoil. It's an absolute monster. I'm pretty certain I've got the best class setup for this bad boy. I haven't stopped using this class since I put it together. It is just so strong. I love it so much. So we do, of course, start off with the monolithic suppressor in the muzzle slot. This does increase our damage range and gives us that sound suppression. This is one of the best attachments in the game up there with the stipple grip tape for me. It's really powerful. Next, we, of course, have the FFS 20.8-inch Nexus barrel, which does give us that damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. There is another barrel that is very similar to this, which is the FSS 26.4 inch Archangel barrel, which gives us the same stats, basically the damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. The difference between these two is a little bit of mobil mobility, sorry, mobility versus range, and the iron sights are different. So the Archangel has more of a needle iron sight, and the Nexus is more of a more of a fairly standard one. Yeah, the choice is basically range versus mobility and the iron sight. So you pretty much can choose either of these, whichever you prefer. We've also got the attack laser for the aim down sight speed and aiming stability and aim walking steadiness. I do love the attack laser in this game, it's such a powerful attachment. Next we've of course got the stippled grip tape and by that I mean the XRK Void 2 grip of course. Aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. This is this gun's like I said stippled grip tape. You want to get those sights up as quickly as possible, one of the best attachments on pretty much every gun in this game for sure. And lastly we of course have the no stock option in the stock slot. This does give us that aim down sight speed and movement speed. This does really help us be aggressive with this gun and move around map very, very quickly. It makes this gun feel really strong and mobile. With this class, of course, you do have a monster of an assault rifle with great damage and excellent range. You'll also be able to be really aggressive with this because you can get those sights up super quickly and send those bullets straight down range. The Grau 556 is definitely one of my favorite guns at the moment and it is very, very powerful with this class setup. One of my favorites for sure. So our second class today features another fantastic DLC assault rifle. This is of course the Ram 7. I've absolutely loved this weapon since it was added in Season 1 and I'm always drawn to high fire rate weapons in these games and this is of course no exception. So to start off our class we have got the Compensator in the muzzle slot. 
the Ram 7 does have a little bit of recoil, and this does help us control that a fair amount. It's, it's, it kicks a fair bit with that decent attachment, so this does help us a lot here. Our attachments that we've chosen help make this thing have less recoil and still pack a huge punch with good damage and high rate of fire. Our next attachment is, of course, the XRK Ranger Barrel for the damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control, of course. We need this attachment. Like, this is definitely the best barrel that we can get. The others don't really do too much for us like the forge attack eclipse is good for the damage range and bullet velocity but we don't get the recoil control which we definitely do need here we have got the commando the commando foregrip for the recoil stabilization and aiming stability another one of those attachments that helps us control the ram 7 this thing is an absolute laser with this class setup so you can easily mow down heaps and heaps of enemies without even thinking about it to help us do that of course we have also got the 50 round magazines pretty simple explanation here with a high fire rate, you need more ammo. You run out of ammo very quickly with the stock 30 round magazine. So 50 rounds just helps us stay in those fights longer and rack up those multi-kills. And lastly, we have, of course, got the stipple grip tape to help get those sights up and send all 50 of those bullets that we've got downrange as quickly as possible. Again, this is one of my favorite weapons in the game and I always keep this class around just in case I need to sweat a lobby. Next, moving away from the assault rifles for a moment, we've got the second best SMG in this game. The MP7 is an absolute beast in this game, and it reminds me of the MP7 glory days of Modern Warfare 3. That was my absolute favorite gun back then, and it's one of the best guns in this game as well. So starting with the barrel slot, we of course got the FSS Recon Barrel for the damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil. I'm sure you guessed that was coming. I do feel like a broken record sometimes, but these really are the best barrel attachments for pretty much every gun in this game. Next, in the laser slot, we have of course got the TAC Laser. This set of attachments, like the ones that we've got here, basically make the snappy aim down sight speed just so, so great on this weapon. Like, it takes no time at all with these attachments to get those sights up, and the attack laser really does help us out with that. Next, we've, of course, got the no stock. This helps us with that aim down sight speed and movement speed. Again, making it really snappy, lets us be really aggressive. We've also got this stipple grip tape for the exact same reason, like we said before. Aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed is really important for being aggressive. And our, it just lets our 40 round magazine just take down so many people. It's just such a good job, man. Like this class setup is absolutely wild and you just get those sights up super quickly. It's so great. And lastly, of course, we need something to keep the MP7 in line, which is either the Merc foregrip or the Commando foregrip. The Merc foregrip really does focus on that accuracy while letting us be slightly slower. Whereas the Commando is sort of, it lets us maintain our aim down sight speed while making us slightly less accurate. They're, they're pretty similar and you can do some good work with either of them, so the choice is, of course, yours here. Again, I do keep around an MP7 class just in case. Moving to the last SMG on our list, but this is the, of course, top dog, best one at that. The MP5 is an absolute beast in this game, even though all of the nerfs it has received, it's still the top dog in the SMG class. Everyone, I think, should have an SMG class, like an SMG class with the MP5 on it, just laying around, just in case... Somebody comes into your lobby and starts sweating on you and you just need to teach them a lesson, basically. Our class doesn't actually include a muzzle or a barrel, which is a little bit unconventional, but trust me, this thing absolutely slaps. So our first attachment is actually in the stock slot, which is the FTAC collapsible, which gives us the movement speed and aim down sight speed. One of those attachments, again, that lets us be really aggressive, gets up in the face of enemies, and really does let us do some work and sprint around the map, basically. I do love an aggressive playstyle in this game, and you can really take people by surprise by getting up in their face. Next, we have got sleight of hand in the perk slot. Normally, I'm not much of a perk guy, but I do pretty much recommend sleight of hand as the only one that sort of pretty usable on most weapons like the other ones aren't super great like you can usually get away with like fully loaded but sleight of hand does really help us out here with those quick reloads you want to be up and up in people's faces you need to be reloading quicker faster reloads equals faster kills basically we do again have the stipple grip tape of course aiming down sight faster is always a massive plus it's hard to go past this the star of the show for the mp5 is still the 10 millimeter auto 30 round magazines for the damage and range that it does give us this is a massive boost even though it did get nerfed recently this is such a big boost you still need this it's so so strong it does cost you a little bit of fire rate and a little bit of recoil control but we can sort of work around that it's just it's just too powerful not to use basically and lastly we of course have something to control the kick that we do get from the 10 millimeter ammo the merc full grip is really powerful for helping us control that recoil and stay on target plus it does give us a little bit of hip fire accuracy to help with those up close engagements you have to keep an MP5 class around, and I'm so glad Infinity Ward gave us five more classes so I can keep all of these classes around. I don't have to sort them out. I can just leave them there just in case. It's perfect. And lastly, you know what I'm about to say here. You know what this is. The best gun in this game is still the M4A1. 
even through all the nerfs, this thing still hits like an absolute truck and it still stands at the top of the pile of great weapons in this game. This is my favorite class in the game because it is, of course, the best one in the game. The best class for the best gun. So we start with either the stock M16 Grenadier or the Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel. Both of these give us that damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control in slightly varying amounts. You can expect, of course, most of the good barrels in this game to feature these stats. The main difference is mobility versus range. The M16 Barrel is slightly more effective at those longer ranges where the Marksman is a little bit more mobile. So you choose whichever one you like the look of here, basically. Next, we've got the Ranger foregrip in the underbarrel slot. I feel like this is a really good attachment here for helping us control that recoil that you do get from the M4. Still bounces around a little bit with, with the Ranger foregrip. You don't really have to worry about that too much. You are very, very accurate with this attached. We've also got the TAC laser for the exact same reasons. The reasons that I've mentioned already, that aim down sight speed, help to stay on target. It's just so, so good. Like, I love the TAC laser in this game. It's a really powerful attachment. Snappy aim down sight speeds are really, really powerful with the M4. You're unlikely to get outgunned with this thing if you do fire the first bullet, so it's just a really powerful option, basically. Of course, we do have the no stock option here, which is pretty much, a, like, one of the best options for pretty much every gun in this game. Like, just allows us to be way more aggressive, movement speed and aim down sight speed. Just really aggressive. You get those sights up quickly. It's just so good. I love it on most weapons. We've seen it a lot in this video. And lastly, we of course have everyone's favorite, the stippled grip tape. You know I've included this and I've said it a bunch of times already, but I feel like this combination of attachments makes the M4 really, really powerful and really effective at pretty much all ranges. Any engagement that you can take, this is, this is the best thing you want to have. Like, this is the gun you want to have for pretty much every gunfight in this game. Long range, close range, whatever you want, really. It's just perfect. I love it so much. Alrighty, guys. These have been the five most overpowered class setups in Modern Warfare Season 2. If you use any of these classes and you stomp the lobby, make sure you come back to this video and leave a like on it and do subscribe if you haven't already. I do very much appreciate it. And make sure you turn on those notifications so you don't miss any more of my videos. I'd love to see this number get even higher. We are well on our way to 500 subscribers, so make sure you do hit that subscribe button, like I said, so you don't miss any more of the videos. We have, of course, got plenty of new videos coming out in the coming weeks, so I'd love to have you around. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it, of course, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!